big link between organizational culture and truth is that there are cultures that don't want the truth. And you can see this when you bring bad news to a boss, for example, and the boss says, well, yeah, that's a point, but I don't want to hear it. Or, well, you know, listen, I know you think you have troubles, but you have no idea what we're dealing with up at the corporate suite here. There are leadership behaviors that are immediately reflective of a company that really does not want the truth. They don't want to hear the bad news. So when we think about a truthful culture, we're really talking about one where everybody in the organization from the top on down is open to actually hearing the truth. They don't get emotional about it. They view it as a data point that they can work with rather than as a personal insult or a personal attack. The difference between a conversation and a confrontation is that a confrontation is typically two people talking at each other, issuing a series of statements. I say A, you say B, then I respond with C and you respond with D. Whereas a conversation, and one big heuristic, is a conversation typically involves some questions. Rather than you say A, you know, I didn't like what you did in that meeting last week, and in a conversation, I might say, well, I'd like to learn more about that. Could you tell me some more about what it was I did or what the behaviors were? In a conversation, there's actually more than just reciprocated diatribe where I say something and then I respond back emotionally. Conversation is built on a desire to actually understand the issue deeper. And I find and my research has found that when you see conversations, there's usually around a 50-50 split between questions and statements. If you hear two people talking and it's just sentence, 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 that's not a conversation, that's a confrontation. 